These are just simple questions. You know the answers to these very, you know. You think so? Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> yes, we'll find you do. out. You do. I mean, you're the expert on this. So. What's the yeah. square root of yeah. 6,000 plus 100? That's always my, that's my, my lucid enough thing. Just say, now, we're going to have to talk about some hard math questions here. <laughs> Which, if you're a mathematician, that wouldn't be so bad. But to me, it would be a nightmare. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm rolling curvy. Okay. Well, I thought the first thing we would just talk about was when Henry Heiser first contacted you, what, what was your initial conversation? What, what, how did this all kind of gel? Okay. Well, Henry Heiser is a person, you know, who's full of ideas and he's, he's a visionary and he's always looking for unique ways to have an impact on education in the Louisville community. And Henry uh, was um, at a conference. Uh, he was the incoming president of, of Rotary. And all the incoming presidents go to a conference where they, I guess, they learn the nuts and bolts of how to be a president. Of course, Henry didn't need that uh, kind of instruction, but he went anyway. And while there, picked up uh, some ideas from other Rotary presidents about major projects that clubs had undertaken. Now, at this very time, Henry was involved, along with some of the previous presidents, in trying to identify a legacy project, the 100th anniversary of the Louisville Rotary Club. Mm -hmm. And so uh, at this conference uh, in Nashville, he heard about some of the smaller clubs, uh, particularly one in Hopkinsville, where uh, the club had partnered with a local high school and had raised money to fund scholarships for uh, graduating seniors. And so Henry took that idea and then redesigned it and um, uh, wrote it much larger than the original concept and uh, came to talk to the uh, Rotary presidents here in Louisville about it. And he came to me to talk about its feasibility mm -hmm. because uh, the concept would be that you would partner with a particular high school and then also with a community college and guarantee um, students beginning in the ninth grade that if they persist uh, and graduate on time and keep uh, take a rigorous curriculum and a, a high grade point average and all the other characteristics of an outstanding student, that they would be able to go on to Jefferson Community and Technical College uh, with all their uh, tuition uh, paid. So that was the idea. Yeah. That, uh, and it was something that uh, Henry was very motivated about. And of course, everybody that he talked to, me and, and all the other presidents, uh, really got excited uh, about it. And so when you and Henry started collaborating on how this might work and what this would look like, did you, um, did you have a, what was, how, what was your reaction though? Did you, was it exciting to you? Was it, had you? It was exciting and I had done enough uh, research and I did more to find out that it's also very feasible. I mean the concept is mm -hmm. that you create an endowment mm -hmm. and, um, and calculate uh, what the proceeds from that endowment are going to be four years out and that, so that with, uh, with great predictability, you can in, ensure uh, graduating students that they will have their uh, expenses paid. And so the smaller uh, communities, the smaller clubs that had done this had proven the concept. Mm -hmm. So in our case, it was uh, expanding that concept uh, with the notion of starting with one high school and then ultimately expanding to four. And of course, we've already partnered with Western High School and we're building, laying the groundwork now to partner with a second high school. So um, it, w it was exciting, but it also started the, um, you know, kind of the wheels turning. Okay, is this feasible? Can we do this? How are we going to organize this so that uh, we, A, can raise sufficient funds and then also um, partner with that first uh, high school, which we've done now with Western High School. You know, we, the Rotary uh, Club has met with this group of ninth graders, the class of 2016. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I think you've talked to David, Mike, and uh, some of the other folks who've been involved with that. And the neat thing is, we interviewed some of the students. Ah. And where they're almost getting ready to, to graduate from their freshman year, you mm -hmm. know, to move on to sophomore year. And it really has changed the way they're looking at things. Mm -hmm. The one boy in particular we talked to was a twin, and he said when he started, and he, I, you know, I think he, he's from some other part of the world, because mm -hmm. he has spoke with quite an accent. Mm -hmm. He said there was no chance he would go to college, but now he and his twin sister are competing with each other about 
for who gets the higher grades. Mm. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the kind of thing I find absolutely wonderful that, that it's is. already having that mm -hmm. impact. Yeah, the scholarship is a powerful motivator. That's the idea, and it's so good to hear that affirmation that that's what it, what's occurring. And what we believe will happen is that the students will kind of raise their sights, raise the trajectory, um, develop aspirations and dreams, and that will motivate them to do well. And then by the time they graduate, they're going to have this great opportunity to come to Jefferson Community and Technical College, but they're going to do so well that they're going to have multiple choices. Mm -hmm. um, that's the idea. You know, the, this partnership with Rotary and Jefferson Community and Technical College and the, uh, and the high schools is absolutely uh, critical. But what we know is that uh, many students, it's not exclusivity that we're after here. You know, it's, this is not a uh, recruiting tool for a particular college. This is much broader than that. Mm -hmm. This is really uh, a motivator to for academic achievement so that these students can really uh, develop their potential at a level that would not have been possible before. That's a great sound. I was going to touch and say, oh, <laughs> like, I got let's pack up. <laughs> uh, that was great. Okay. <laughs> that was great. So, um, so, so, in, so as a president of, of, this, of this college, what is the importance of, because this is a video that's going to be going out to get people to, you know, mm -hmm. donate more. What is the importance of being able to have a degree and to go on into the world? So these ninth graders, tenth and eleventh, as they mm -hmm. graduate, how will this, how can this have the potential to impact and change what their lives will be like? Yeah. Well, what we know is that uh, here in the early uh, 20th century, higher education, education beyond high school is far more important than it, it, with any previous generation. I mean, you can go back 40 years um, and find many examples of folks for whom a high school education could get them a job in a, with a major company, a GE or International Harvester or, or any of those great companies, and that would be a sufficient for an outstanding career. That's no longer the case. Uh, Seventy percent of the uh, best jobs in the new economy require a uh, significant amount of post-secondary education. And what we know is that folks who earn an associate's degree or move on to a bachelor's degree have a much um, higher, much better chance of A, earning um, significant uh, gains in, in lifetime income, uh, avoiding unemployment, staying on a career track, and also being prepared to um, anticipate and retrain and relearn, come back to colleges and universities for booster shots of education that will allow them to uh, adjust to the rapidly changing technologies and, um, um, in, in the workplace. So education, post-secondary education means everything. And so these scholarships will uh, really empower young people to be on that track from the beginning and get accustomed to the fact that, and it's not just the, the first degree that's important, it's the ability uh, to engage in lifelong learning, knowing that uh, uh, learning in itself is uh, of immense value and, and importance moving along. That's great. Yeah. You know, one last thing. I, I think the more we've delved into this, doing this video and all, and talking to all the different, everybody that's involved, it's much more than just raising money for scholarships. I mean, it's mm -hmm. really raising money to change lives. It, it is. And from the college's perspective, you know, we're one of the major institutions involved in the 55,000 Degrees Initiative, mm -hmm. which is Louisville's unique approach to bringing together all the major entities, the universities, the colleges, the public school systems, the business leadership, the political leadership, around a goal of raising educational attainment uh, working together. And so uh, with 55,000 degrees, we have committed at Jefferson to doubling the number of associate degrees uh, by 2020, uh, granted annually, doubling the number of students who go on to successfully um, compete at the University of Louisville and the other universities and tripling the number of African American students. So w community colleges are uh, educational institutions, that's true, but we're also instruments of change. And we are the open door. You know, we throw our arms wide. We're inclusive. We invite the whole range of students across the whole spectrum of backgrounds and challenges. And so this particular scholarship fits us 
just like, like a glove, because it is an instrument. The scholarship itself is an instrument of, of change. Um, I, you know, it's, it's all about education, but uh, it's also about partnering with the high school, which is in the process of a transformation. Mm -hmm. And so this becomes a, kind of a, another tool that the high school is using to, uh, um, to redesign itself. And, uh, and most importantly, though, it's about the, these, these young people and uh, giving them the, uh, uh, the wherewithal that they need to, to really plan a better life, um, a life with a, you know, a, a career, a path that provides them a, a real future. Very nice. Good. Okay. Thank you. Right. Is there anything else that you wanted to mention that I missed? Or? Did you want to talk about how um, that we could purposely selected high schools that had um, – Low college going attendance and a lot of that. Was yeah, you know, we not talked about that on okay. in interviews. How how Weston was selected. And okay. Okay. Right. And there's yeah. a reason for that because the um, a lot of these students that's a good point, were thank you. they weren't prepared for college because they just always assumed they could never go. Right. right. Uh -huh. And so this has really changed that right. for them. From right. And that's, that's right. also been an opportunity to compliment David, Mike, and the yeah. folks at Western yeah. because they are in the process of. Because we have students saying that. Mm -hmm. And we have Rotary Club members saying that. So yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's you know um, Rotary well, from the well, beginning. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, there, you know, in Jefferson County, there's great diversity of high schools, mm -hmm. but this was it was very intentional to partner with schools that were undergoing transformation. You know, there are a number of high schools that have been designated uh, through various devices and by the state as needing transformation. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the term low performing is used. And these are high schools that historically, or at least in recent history, have had uh, uh, lower uh, high school graduation rates, uh, fewer students going on to college, and some other characteristics. Uh, uh, oftentimes maybe uh, a profile with a lot of low income students, mm -hmm. folks uh, who are innately uh, um, I mean, great abilities, but, you know, are, are struggling with circumstances. So it was very intentional to partner with a school like Western High School, which has uh, had already begun their process of redesign and transformation, and um, to partner with them and have the this, this scholarship be another tool um, in their assortment of tools for redesign. See, that's what it was, because I have heard, I've heard them, the Rotary Club members saying, well, that we wanted to partner with low-performing schools. And I thought, well, I'm kind of the regular, you know, Joe. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what that means. I didn't know if it meant they, they tested really poorly, but it, part of it is that these are students that would not normally go on to college. Mm -hmm. that, yeah, the uh, tests. Advantage by picking high school. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the test scores are one element of it, but when you look at the broader picture, there, there had been a pattern in these schools that's now changing, mm -hmm. of uh, low graduation rates, um, uh, small numbers of students going on to college, and, and the rest. And so this is all about uh, uh, the test scores we believe will improve because students are going to be more motivated, mm -hmm. but uh, what we're sure of is that they're going to be motivated as well to graduate on time and then st start thinking right uh, about moving right on to college after that. I think it's kind of nice too that Rotary is going into Western High School and they have, it's almost like a mentoring pro mm -hmm. program, so that I think a lot of times if you can see what the goal is, if I'm a student and I'm mm -hmm. 14 and I'm, you know, I don't really know what a business looks like, Yes. Uh -huh. I wouldn't have any reason to be motivated to keep going, but now you kind of see, you can almost see a prize beyond the college education even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, absol you absolutely can. And Rotary, of course, it's organized according to, you know, you try to have a, all the professions, all the, the trades and um, backgrounds involved, and so it's kind of a natural fit mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, young people have a, a great number of different uh, career choices, career paths, and so with Rotary, uh, right from the ninth grade, uh, the students are, are learning about uh, what their career choices are from, from Rotarians in those particular fields. Mm 